going to discuss one of the another very important uh, process in an automobile without which the engine may not exist that is the steering system the steering system it converts the rotation of the steering wheel into a angular movement of the road wheels in such a way that the steering wheel rim turns a long way to move the road wheels to a short way the system allows a driver to use only the light forces to steer a heavy car steering is one of the very important process in automobile as we noticed in case of brakes and accelerator steering also very important without the steering system the engine or automobile will never exist it is necessary to have an automobile to run in a desired direction and this is possible with the steering system the function of a steering system is to convert the rotary motion or rotary movement of the steering wheel in the driver hand into the angular turn of the front wheels on road the purpose of a the objective of or the purpose of a steering system is to convert a rotary motion of steering wheel in the driver's hand into angular motion of the front road wheels and this is possible by multiplying the driver's efforts with the help of a leverage or mechanical advantage so as to make it fairly easy to turn the wheels on the road according to the requirement of the automobile and the direction the steering system also absorbs large portion of the road shocks thus preventing them being transmitted to the driver thus being transmitted to the driver and here we can see the steering is the term applied to a collection of components linkages etc which will allow a vehicle to follow the desired direction as i was describing steering is a process which maintains which supports a vehicle to run in the desired direction and automobile is steered with the help of steering gears and with the help of linkages which transfer the motion of the hand operated steering wheel to pivoted front wheel hubs via steering column you must have seen if you have seen a car if you have seen a bus if any truck any vehicle you must find a steering wheel which is controlled by the driver the other parts that are used for steering a vehicle are steering wheel pads steering shafts steering boxes steering arms steering stabilizers these parts generally whatever the links which are connected to the steering wheel and which connects to the uh, road wheel these parts are made up of durable materials like stainless steel iron aluminium copper magnesium titanium platinum rubber and plastics what is the need of a steering system as i was telling always any automobile its objective is to run the automobile in the desired direction and this desired direction it is possible with the process of steering system without steering system as already quoted it is not possible to exist any automotive or any automobile or any vehicle then what are the needs of steering system when the car is moving in a straight line the steering system has to give the directional stability when the car is moving in a straight line 
the steering system will give the directional stability and second important requirement of this thing is a steering system should multiply the turning effort applied on the steering wheel by the driver and steering system will also reduces the tire wear the tire wear which is on the road the another need of the steering system is steering system should be to a certain extent it should be a reversible process how it should be reversible okay once when the road shocks or shocks of the road surface are encountered by the wheels should not be transmitted back to the driver hands what happens if the road surface shocks are observed it goes back to the driver then the steering is not possible so that the steering should be such that it should be to some extent irreversible whatever the road surfaces encountered by the wheels should be absorbed by the road wheels itself and should not be transmitted to the driver hands another very important this thing is the steering mechanism should have a self rightening effect you must have seen when the driver releases the steering wheel after negotiating the turn the wheel should try to achieve the straight ahead position okay when you you must have observed you will, whenever you are driving a car whenever you want to take a turn you will utilize you will rotate the steering wheel as soon as your negotiated turn achieved then you leave you leave the steering wheel the steering wheel will come to a perfect as it was in earlier position and that straight line it will be maintained this is what the steering should achieve the steering mechanism should have a self rightening effect that is when the driver releases the steering wheel after negotiating the turn the wheel should try to achieve the straight ahead position this is very very important and now we should see what are the functions of steering system how the steering system will function steering system will provide a precise control of the wheel direction a steering system will provide a precise control of the wheel direction and second important function is steering system maintains correct steering effect okay what do you mean by correct steering effect whatever the turn whatever the direction expected by the automobile the driver will rotate the steering wheel only to that possible extent that is called the steering system it maintains correct steering effect the steering system transmit the road feel to the driver hands how the driver will notice that his effort what is his effort he is rotating the steering wheel once when he start rotating the steering wheel it, he should feel that the road wheels are re receiving his effort this is called the transmission of a road feel to the driver hands another function of steering system is steering system should absorb most of the road shock steering system should absorb most of the road shock going to the steering wheel it should not be reversible the steering system must be absorb the road shocks by the road wheels itself if it goes back to driver's hand and the steering system fails that means another important function of steering system is steering system must absorb most of the road shock going to the steering wheel another very important uh, function of steering system is steering system must allow the suspension action the suspension action the uh, immediately after this we are going to discuss what is meant by 
suspension system. Suspension system is also the road shocks, whatever the wheel is going to have, the road shocks, the absorbing of the road shocks, that process is called suspension system, which we are going to discuss. And these are the very important functions of steering system. The first function is steering system should provide precise control of the wheel direction. Steering system should maintain correct steering effort. Steering system should transmit the road feel to the driver's hands. Steering system must absorb most of the road shock going to the steering wheel. And steering wheel must allow the suspension action. Suspension in the sense, as I said, it is absorbing the road shocks. That process is called suspension system, which we are going to discuss after completion of this series. Then some of the other uh, steering system functions are, as I said, the control, the main steering. See, once when the steering wheel is rotated, only the front wheel will take angular turn to the right or to the left according to the requirement. And steering system must transmit a road feel to the driver's hand. That means if there is a, once when he start rotating the wheel, he should feel that his actions are received by the road wheels. And another function as we are discussing, steering system should maintain correct amount of effort. Only the required, it should be rotated according to whatever the angular turn required by the wheel. He should not uh, keep on rotating the wheels. Once when the driver felt the angular turned in achieved by the wheels according to the requirement, then he should stop the turning of the rotating the wheels. Steering system should absorb most of the shock going to the steering wheel as the tire hits holes or bumps on the whenever the there are bumps or holes on the road once when the tire hits on these bumps or holes there will be sudden shock and these shocks should be absorbed by the road wheels itself and the it will allow the this thing and what are the important uh, components involved in a steering system these are the important layout of a steering system a typical steering system should consider i will after this i will show the figure will come a important function important uh, components involved in steering system is first is steering wheel then steering wheel is connected to steering shaft Steering shaft is connected to steering gearbox. Steering gearbox is connected to equipment arm, drag link, steering knuckle arm, tie rod, track rod arm, and last one is wheels. Last, these are the different this thing which you can see. See, you can see the this is the steering wheel you must have seen, and. Uh, this here here comes the here comes the box gearbox this is the shaft and and you can see the two wheels are there these are the wheels whatever it is shown these are front wheels gearbox you can see the pitman on you can see the drag link you can see the drag link and this is a simple diagram you can see at the bottom i will show you these are the front wheels okay so here this is the car and this is the wheel and one more diagram i can show you so this figure shows turning the car when car is turning front wheels don't point the same direction now here you can see this is the clear line diagram what i was quoting the different components in the previous 
you can see this is this is the steering wheel and this is the gearbox and this is the pitman arm this is the this is the tie rod this is the track rod and this is the try to right tie rods will be there as the two front wheels are there this is uh, two wheels you can see two front wheels you can see okay once again you just go through the figure steering wheel is there gear box is there two front wheels are there steering arms are there two tie rods you can find two pitman arm you can find okay this is how the steering system will be there in any vehicle whether it is a car whether it is a bus whether it is a truck whatever it may be okay now we should see we have seen how the figure this thing uh, system will be just we are going to discuss what are the functions these different components will do see to the right you can see this is you can see this is the steering wheel what steering wheel does steering wheel is used by the driver steering wheel is used by the driver to rotate a steering shaft to rotate a steering shaft that passes through the steering column steering wheel see i i have shown the cursor there only you can see this is the steering wheel you must have seen but again you see this is the steering wheel this steering wheel is used by the driver to rotate a steering shaft that passes through the steering column second important component you can see steering shaft to the right the shaft is shown this is the steering shaft what this steering shaft will do the steering shaft transfers the turning motion from the steering wheel to the steering gearbox okay see steering gearbox gearbox in the sense the main function of gearbox is to give the required ratio of the speed to the system okay steering shaft which is shown to the right steering shaft transfers the turning motion from the steering wheel to the steering gearbox okay so third third important component you can see the steering column the steering column you can see the figure of the steering column it is to the right you can see steering column support the steering column steering column supports the steering column and steering shaft to connect the gearbox it connects it supports the steering shaft and gearbox both are connected with the help of steering column or else even you can say the steering column it connects the steering shaft to the steering gearbox okay these are the three components one is steering wheel it is used by the driver to rotate the steering shaft that passes through the steering column steering shaft transfers the turning motion of the steering wheel to the steering gearbox steering column the figure you can you are seeing to the right the steering column connects the steering shaft and steering gear and steering gears as i was telling gear it is very very important and uh, without gear also we can run the system but gear presence of gear will have a better efficient system without gear there are no engines as of now which are working on road the steering gear you can see 
the steering gear is a device which is used for converting rotary motion of the steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkage with a mechanical advantage the steering gear box what is the function of steering gear box what is the steering gear the steering gear it converts steering gear it converts the rotary motion of the steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkage with a mechanical advantage with a mechanical advantage see without steering gear i was telling if the steering wheel is connected directly to the steering linkage without in option without having the steering gear what happens if the steering wheel is directly connected to the steering linkage it would require a great effort to move the front wheels okay the effort required by the driver is much more minimized with the presence of steering gear okay without that also it can be connected but it requires great effort by the driver to move the front wheels therefore to assist the driver reduction system is used in the form of gear there we have a gearbox there we have a reduction system according to the speed of the vehicle the reduction system will operate and will convert the rotary motion of the steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkage with the mechanical advantage which are achieved through the linkages there are three types of steering gear systems we can find you can find one is recirculation ball type steering gear another one is rack and pinion steering and another one is hydraulic power steering before we start the gearing system again i will repeat i will brief about what is a steering system steering system it supports the vehicle for running in a desired direction steering system it converts the rotary motion of the steering wheel into angular movement of the front wheels with the support of steering gear okay and there are th three types of steering gear the steering gear main op function of steering gear is it converts the rotary motion of the wheel which wheel steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkage with mechanical advantage there are we have three different gear systems one is recirculation ball type steer gearing system and another one is rack and pinion steering system another one is hydraulic power steering system okay this recirculating ball type steering system this is uh, this kind of gearing system is steering gear system is used in majority of the vehicles which are in operation this uh, system consists of a valve at the end i will show the figure then you will understand okay it uh, this uh, ball type steering system gear system consists of a valve at the end of steering rod a nut is mounted on the war with two sets of balls in the grooves of the war in between nut and the war the balls the main function of balls it reduces the friction during movement of nut on the war the main functions which are used as balls these balls will reduce the friction during movement of nut on the war the nut has a number of teeth on outside the nut has a number of teeth on outside which mesh with the teeth on the war wheel section see here nut is one system war wheel another system nut will have number of teeth on outside on these outside teeth the war wheel rotate okay and the balls are provided to reduce the friction during movement of nut on the war okay when the steering wheel is turned when the steering wheel is turned the ball in the war roll into the grooves 
and cause the nut to travel along the length of wand. The balls, which are in two sets, are recirculated through the guides. That means more than 10 balls will be there in each set. Okay. The movement of the nut causes a wheel sector to turn at an angle and actuate the link rod through the drop off. And to compensate for wear of the teeth on the nut. Okay. So whenever see what is the wear, whenever two portions are coming in direct contact, two sur metal surfaces, there after certain use of its uh, this thing, wear will happen that the material will lose. That is wear. To compensate for the wear of the teeth on the nut and the wall, the two have to be brought nearer bodily. To achieve this, the teeth on the nut are made tapered in plane. This thing. Now you can see the figure I was telling. See. Just you see the figure and explain. See. At the top, you can see. I will show from top. It's gone. Okay. The cursor is there. That is, it goes to the, where it goes? It goes to the steering wheel. Steering wheel. Okay. The steering shaft, you can see. Okay. Now, now you can see the ball nut. This is the ball nut. And you can see this is, I'm moving the cursor, you can see. Ah, yes. This is the, the cursor you can notice, that is warm gear. Okay. Now you can see this is ball nut. You can see this is ball nut. Okay. And you can see these are the balls, small balls. Recirculating ball bearings, it is called. Okay. It acts as a Wear which these balls will reduce the wear between warm gear and the nut. Okay, and then this is you can see pitman arm which you can you have seen in the previous figure. Again, I will repeat at the top you can find the steering shaft which which is connecting to the steering wheel, and then. Then you can find warm gear, you can find the ball nut track, you can find recirculating balls, you can find the pitman or you can find pitman or okay. Now, what are the different linkages we have in this gear system? You can find the same figure you can find on the top. Okay. So same what we have seen earlier. Steering shaft, ball nut track, recirculating ball, warm gear, gear sector, pitman or then first you see this complete setup. It is uh, all this ball nut track, warm gear, and uh, balls bearing system, and these are all assembled in a box called gearbox. This is steering gearbox. This steering gearbox changes the turning motion into a straight line motion to the left or right. This steering gearbox, again I'm telling, it converts the turning motion of the steering wheel into a straight line motion to the left or right. Okay. Then the steering gear box. What are the speed ratios we have in the steering gear box? The steering gear box ratio range from 15 to 1 to 24 to 1 in any vehicle where this type of gear system is used. The speed ratios are 
the steering box in which the speed ratios are 15 to 1 to 24 to 1. What do you mean by 15 to 1? The warm gear turns 15 times to the one time turning of the nut. What do you mean by, again I am repeating 15 to 1. The warm gear turns 15 times to turn once the this thing select this nut. On at the third point you can see. The third point what you can see is the steering linkage. The third point you can see steering linkage. This steering linkage to the left, the linkages are shown in the figure. The, this steering linkage connects the steering gearbox to the steering knuckles and wheels. What is wheels? The front wheels, which are on the road. The steering linkage, again I'm repeating, you can see the figure to the right. You can see the figure to the right. The steering linkage connects the steering gearbox to the steering knuckles and the wheels. This is the first gear system, ball circulating gear system. This is how the different parts operates. And ultimately, this gearing system, any gearing system, the function of any gearing system is converting rotational motion of uh, the steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkages which is connected to the road wheels this is the function of any kind of gear now we have seen this uh, gear ball circulating or gear system we have seen okay and uh, steering gearbox it changes the turning motion to straight line motion of and it will have the speed ranges 15 to 1 to 24 to 1. Again, I will repeat 15 to 1. What do you mean by 15 to 1? The warm gear turns 15 times to turn once the nut. Okay. Again, third point you can see the link. This thing. And another gearing system, rack and pinier steering system. Another very important uh, gearing system which is used in steering rack and pinion steering rack and pinion steering okay so this rack and pinion steering is quickly becoming the most common type of steering on cars small trucks and sport utility vehicles rack and pinion steering is quickly becoming it is getting more and more popular and its application is mostly used in the present vehicles in cars small trucks sport utility vehicles the rack and pinion the rack and pinion will have two sets of things will have two sets of things one is <coughs> it converts the rotational motion of the steering wheel into the linear motion needed to turn the wheels. I was telling whether it is a ball circulating, rack and pinion and one more gear system is there. Any gearing system, the main function of gearing system is it converts the rotational motion of the steering wheel into linear motion of the linkage which is required to turn the wheels on the road according to the required direction. And as far as the rack and pinion gear set system is concerned, it will do two different things. One is it converts the rotational motion of the steering wheel into the linear motion needed to turn the wheel. Second point what it does is it provides a gear reduction, making it easier to turn the wheels. It gives a gear reduction according to the speed of the vehicle at which the driver wanted to take the turn of the vehicle and rack and pinion steering will provide a gear reduction according to the requirement making the steering easier making the steering easier to turn the wheels on the road the rack and pinion does two things one is 
it converts the rotational motion of the steering wheel into a linear motion to turn the wheels on the road according to a requirement and rack and pinion gear set also provides supports and will have a gear reduction the presence of gear reduction in the rack and pinion it makes the driver easier to turn the wheels which are on the roads which are on the roads okay and you can see the some cars have variable steering ratio which you just rack and pinion gear set okay the figure you can see here and the still more this thing uh, a property figure i will show you here i will show you okay now you can see this is rack and pinion steering you can see the front wheels you can see the cursor i brought it this is the rack and pinion steering gear just concentrate on the figure just concentrate on the figure rack and pinion gear system is there okay now again i will repeat rack and pinion gear system will convert the rotary motion of the steering wheel into straight line motion of the linkage to turn the wheels rack and pinion gear system will have a reduction gear whereas it is possible for the driver to make the steering easier for steering okay yes now this another figure i am showing for the same rack and pinion which gives you still more easier this thing here only uh, the figure concentrating on rack and pinion you can see the figure you can see the figure you can see the rack you can see the pinion pinion it is connected to the steering wheel and uh, this pinion and steering wheel is connected with the help of steering shaft and the steering shaft is supported with the steering column okay okay the rack will have see the pinion gear it is rotated by the steering wheel and steering shaft the teeth of the pinion the teeth of the pinion teeth the teeth of the pinion will mesh with the teeth on the rack see i will show you see a rack will have the teeth outside these are the this is the rack this is the teeth and the teeth of this pinion will mesh with the teeth of the rack pinion gear is rotated by the steering wheel and the teeth of the pinion will mesh with the teeth on the rack you can have a clear knowledge about this gear system only it is concentrating the steering gear the pinion rack gearing system again i am repeating the uh, pinion it is connected to the steering wheel with the help of steering shaft the teeth of the pinion will mesh with the teeth of the rack the outside teeth of the rack it meshes and what is rack a rack is having it is a long steel bar rack is made up of steel it is a long steel bar with the teeth along one section only on one side of the surface of the steel bar it is having teeth okay pinion teeth will mesh with the teeth of the rack okay this is once again just you concentrate the figure again i am repeating pinion teeth will mesh with the teeth which are on the surface of rack rack is a steel bar 
it is a long steel bar which is having teeth on one surface which is having one surface okay and the basic uh, certain important components which are used in rack and pinion steering the rack and pinion we have seen in the previous uh, figure only the pinion and rack pinion teeth will mesh with the rack teeth okay and this pinion and rack system it is housed it is housed in an assembly called gear housing the pinion and rack this is housed in an assembly called gear housing the right figure it is the gear housing and the rack it is connected to the tie rods the rack it is connected to the tie rods okay the right you can see say i will bring the cursors here itself this is the rack okay this rack is connected to the tie rods tie rods we'll have two tie rods because front wheels we are generally we have two front wheels okay two tie rods okay two tie rods are you getting pinion and rack gears are assembled in a assembly called gear housing and uh, the rack is connected to the tie rods the rack is connected to the tie rods the rack is connected to the tie rods i know here you can see the basic uh, rack and pinion system okay again it is uh, generally this system it is a okay uh, where you can see rack where you can see pinion where there will be a, this thing a piston will be there two fluid lines this uh, figure again we are going to discuss once when power steering system we discuss just we see you concentrate only on rack and pinion you concentrate there you can notice this okay again i will brief about this uh, rack and pinion steering system okay uh, the it, what it does is it does two things it converts rack and pinion steering gear system it converts the rotary motion of steering wheel into a linear motion of the linkage required to turn the wheels and this rack and pinion will have gear reduction system which facilitates the driver to make the steering easier okay it will have pinion it will have rack the teeth of the pinion will mesh with the teeth on the rack okay this pinion and rack is uh, housed in the assembly called gear housing and the rack is always it is connected to tie rods this is all about the rack and pinion gearing system and the previous figure uh, this is uh, another figure which shows another steering which already we discussed the ball recirculating gear system which you can see here okay and here you can see the one component called pitman arm the cursor which i am showing there the main function of this pitman or it transfers the gearbox motion to the steering linkage okay 
the pitman arm it connects the gearbox to the mechanical engage which connects to the wheels which are on the road okay right the function of this pitman arm it transfers it transfers the motion of the gearbox to steering linkage what is the steering linkage tie rods two tie rods will be there two tie, tie rods okay and uh, see this i am showing you this is the how uh, the figure of this uh, pitman arm okay you can uh, if you have pen and pencil even you can draw the line diagram of this you can have the line diagram of this And here we, you can have another component called this where we can see the tie rods and the center link. This okay. The this center link it is a steel bar, it is made up of steel, it connects and right and left side of steering linkage. What are the steering case? One is pitman or okay so pitman arm it is connected the cursor i am bringing here this is the pitman arm it connects here it connects here okay this central line link it is a made up of steel bar it connects right angles and this is the figure of the central link and you can see here another important link we can find here okay this is the idler arm another important component this supports end of the central link on the passenger side of the vehicle and this this is the figure of this idler link this is how it is going to be later okay this idler arm it supports the end of the end of central link on the passenger side of the vehicle okay and it uh, bolts the vehicle frame if it is a warm it will cause excessive steering play warm where warm will be there warm will be there in case of ball a recirculating steering system if it is rack and pinion steering system there will not be war that point to remember difference between ball recirculating system steering rack and pinion steering is that in ball recirculating steering war will be there and it will be meshing on the nut the teeth of the worm will be missing on the nut. Whereas in case of uh, rack and pinion, what you can notice is worm will not be there. The pinion teeth will mesh on the teeth of the rack. Rack, what is rack? Rack is a long steel bar on one surface of the uh, this thing. Uh, rack it will have teeth okay the pinion is rotated by the steering wheel okay and both whether it is ball circulating recirculating steering back and pinion steering the objective of both is same what is the objective <laughs> this gearing system these gears will convert the rotating motion of the steering wheel into a linear motion of the mechanical link case which is required to turn the wheels which are on road both will have reduction gear both will the presence of reduction gear 
will make easier for the driver to steer the vehicle according to the requirement and the direction of and the speed of vehicle okay this is all about this thing and and one more the tie rod linkage is there what is this tie rod so this tie rod two tie rods will be there because two wheels are there front wheels will have two front wheels and at the right one more bottom figure you can see that is the tie rod assembly two tie rod assemblies will be there these tie rods will fasten will connect the center link to the steering knuckles steering knuckles the tie rod assembly consists of inner tie rod end and while connecting this uh, tie rod let us make sure whether the toe setting after replacing the tie rod ends is correct or what it should be correctly fitting to the center link if there is a small tolerance is provided then entire connection there is a failure and there is the efficiency and the more driver if we, this thing is required uh, strength is required to steer the bike okay let us make sure before in operation the tie rod connects in a system wide way to the center link of the mechanical linkage mechanical linkage center link of the mechanical linkage okay so this is all about so far we have seen and another important component 